Hi, welcome back to the Gargoyle's Den diecast. This is Gargoyle, obviously. Uh, today on the block we have, oh, let's see here, 1935 Ford pickup. Let's see, it says Coffee Cruisers, Los Angeles, California on the side. I don't know. I saw this in a five pack at the store. I don't normally do this, but I actually bought a mainline just to customize it because I can't stand the way it looks the way it is. So let's get it drilled and taken apart and figure out where I'm going to go with this. simple construction this is what I can't stand about it you had plastic motor which you know it's neither here nor there but they wonder why Hot Wheels is ahead of them it's because of stupid decisions like this why would you put a gold plastic motor in a cruiser vehicle chrome would look so much better it would look somewhat more realistic and then this little box they got in the back that's built like a treasure chest. I thought it was a fuel cell at first, but yeah, it doesn't have a uh, cap or anything on the top of it. It's got a little I don't know, padlock in the middle of the back of it. Maybe it was supposed to be a tool chest or something. I don't know. It's silly looking though. I might cut it off. I don't know. I haven't decided for sure yet. But yeah, the motor's definitely going chrome. We're going to also uh, put an intake stack on it I think and have it popping out through the hood the intakes so that'll take a little bit and of course this paint's gonna go it's going and of course as always I'm gonna change the wheels imagine that so but the axles on my new wheels are a little too short for this I think so I'm gonna try to take these axles out without damaging them so I can reuse them. If not, I've got some piano wire that I can use to remake the axles. But hey, if I can reuse these, then, you know, so. chrome the base plate too just because it's got the suspension and stuff here and then it's got the back bumper and stuff and the little side bumper that shows when the body's together I'll show you what I'm talking about yeah. yeah when the actual body's together this part shows so I want that to actually be chromed all the way around and then I'll have the lights painted on so you can see that thought about removing them and trying to put custom lights here, but I don't have any custom lights right now. So we'll just stick with what it's got with them melted into the bumpers. But yeah. So let's, uh, it's brand new, so we ain't got to put anything in the cleaners or anything. We just got to go take these over and spray them with the mold to a chrome. And this we need to strip with the regurgitation juice after we sand these posts flat and drill them in our drill press. Let's go ahead and get them sanded flat first though.
you notice when I did this that I only did a little bit on the back. It's got a little dimple in the middle there, but we don't want to go too deep with trying to flatten it out just because it's only got to there as it is and we don't want to drill through it. We gotta have something for the screw to, to grab onto. So we don't want to go any deeper with that one than what I did. Um, another thing before we go over to the paint booth, we need to flatten this out and see about attaching this. I have to attach it far enough back to where it doesn't interfere with the post though. So yeah, I might have to sand on the front of it just a hair. And we are back from the paint booth, ready for his, our final assembly. Let's take a look how the body came out here. There we go. Sorry, the vision's a little blurry on this. I was hoping to get a better shot, but you know, kind of get the idea. Let's go ahead and get it put back together, and we'll do our reveal. First thing we got to do here is let's get these wheels attached. Okay, now here you see me opening it up for the axles to slide in, but the axles that I had were the wrong size, they were too short for this. So I ended up taking piano wire that I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, actually, no, I ordered that. Sorry, I ordered it online. Um, and a pair of fencing pliers. And I used those to crimp the end and cut the axle to size so that I could put these wheels on the vehicle. Okay, here you're going to see me use a drop of Gorilla Glue and some activator to set it in place. Make sure you do not Get it on your wheels, it will glue them in place, and you'll be very unhappy if that happens. Alright, let's get this back together, and then we'll come back for the reveal. Stay tuned. And there we have it, Matchbox 1935 Ford Pickup. Hope you guys like it. If you do, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what else you'd like to see. I'd be happy to build it for you. Bye now.